roof. Raise that roof. We raising that roof. We raising the. I don't believe in salads. I know you don't. everybody, it's Tony with Big T Bariatric, and I'm back with another video. Today, it is Saturday, March 11th. I hope you're having a great day so far. If you could do me a huge favor, please hit the subscribe button down below. It's right down there. I really appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. What I wanted to do is something a little different today because normally I'm talking about my 600-pound life or I'm doing the plot twist videos. I've been doing a lot of those lately, but I actually wanted to talk a little bit more about a particular YouTuber that I'm really worried about lately. And we could talk about Amberlynn Reed. We can talk about Tess Holiday. Those people, yeah, they're on the wrong track. They're doing their thing, and I don't agree with their philosophy at all. You guys know that. And especially Amberlynn Reed. I, I don't understand why people cover her 24-7. I mean, it's, it's, it's their channel, and I'm not picking any specific person I'm talking about here. Um, I just see a lot of people covering her quite frequently and I'm saying the same thing Amberlynn Reed bores me and so while she's on a dangerous path she is nowhere near as bad off I believe as Hungry Fat Chick. Candy is her name and she is probably more popular uh, because of her interactions with Nick Akato Avocado and let's look at that here. We are in the car on the way. There's Candy. Hey, <laughs> She's so excited. We're both so excited. We're actually really hungry. Yes, we're very hungry. <laughs> we were sitting here saying, like, we're going to get the flatliner fries. Oh, I want the mm -hmm. onion ring. She's like, oh, I want a hot dog. Yes, I, want I want a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> she wants a shake. I don't know if I'm going to get the shake. You know, that? didn't you say that was the fattiest shake you've the ever had? Fattiest, best, most delicious shake I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember from the video. I was watching our old video um, uh -huh. like the other day, and that's what you said. This is the fattiest chocolate <laughs> shake I've ever had. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, so we're coming up here on uh, Heart Hot Grill, and then I'm going to drop her off and say peace. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, I'm going to help her out, and then I'm going to go to the parking garage, and uh, she's going to wait for me by the scale. Mm -hmm. Ready to get weighed, Lord. What are you most excited for? Uh, I'm most excited, I think. Ooh, probably the, the, the burger. The burger? The burger's delicious. I think I should get you the big tower one. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm scared. <laughs> We're definitely going to get spankings. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> nice and drunk. I need all them. Oh, my God. Yes, you do. There's Dr. John keeping an eye on you. Oh, yes. I need all those calories. I really do. Here's a big fat shake with a tub of butter on top. I mean, <laughs> making sure that you are on track. <laughs> Go ahead and have your first bite, Candy. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna... mm. I'm gonna grab. Oh, that's a nice crispy one. Mm. Okay, enough of that. All right. It sounds like they're having sex together, but they're really just eating food. I mean, that's the one thing about all these mukbangers and stuff like that. When, when they eat food, you can tell it's like orgasmic for them by the sounds that they make while they're eating it. So, yeah, she has a history of uh, doing collaborations with Nikocado Avocado, and but she's also a mukbanger. And actually, I became more concerned about her because I think she's the closest to death than any of the other mukbangers or fat positivity movement people that we cover. And there's a reason for that. She was actually in the hospital maybe a week or two ago. I, I don't know the exact timeline, but um, I was just kind of scrolling through YouTube and I came across this. Hey y'all, no uh, long video going up today um, in the hospital. 
just an infection. I should be home in a few days. Um, but I'll talk later. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, so she's in the hospital, and she doesn't really explain why she's in the hospital, but then she posts another live like this. Hey, yo. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, on the mend. If all goes well, I'll be going home tomorrow, finally. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I had a couple of really bad days there, um, and I just captured my meltdowns, um, or at least part of them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was going on other than I'm just, was just tired and miserable and sore and, uh, <laughs> but I'm starting to feel a little bit better, um. I'm actually taking the pain medicine I'm supposed to take as often as I'm supposed to take it. I was letting myself get too sore. And Do you guys notice that she's out of breath just laying there and talking? I mean, she looks like she is on death's door, literally. She is just out of it. She is, and again, she doesn't say why she's in the hospital just yet. She does later. But, um, yeah, she's just completely out of breath laying there um this uh bariatric bed that i'm in is is really high it's like really high off the ground and i'm really short and i have to go pee like every two hours so i'm um, up and down up and down up and down mm. and it's actually because it's inflated um it's actually really difficult for me to get back into bed so what it is i have to like get on the edge and you know sometimes one person can do it but sometimes it takes two people just depends on the person i guess um but uh just help me swing my legs into bed and i'm heavy and I'm like why did they give me this bed i don't understand i was fine in the other bed um they they gave me this one because they said it would be more comfortable it hasn't been more comfortable. <laughs> they said it would be easier for me to roll on my side. Like, I If you've ever seen an obese bed in, in a hospital, or bariatric bed as they call it, um, it, it's actually a wider bed, like much wider than a normal hospital bed, but it has like this air mattress on it. And so they, they inflate it. So it like supports your weight better. And, and, and they do it for a lot of obese patients who... Um, could get a lot of rashes if they have if they're just on a regular mattress and they're laying in the bed there for a long period of time. So um, you can get infections and all kinds of things by laying on a normal bed, being your size, not able to move around. So what they did is they got this bed that sort of works as an inflatable mattress. And so it supports your weight better. You can move around better. Um, and I actually was put in one of those after my weight loss surgery. And I thought it was pretty comfortable, but she's right. It is very, very hard to get out of that because it's like it's very, very big. And, and the inflatable mattress part is massive. And so you're almost like wrestling just to get out of it. I mean, it, it's very difficult. So I, so I understand what she's talking about here, about how difficult it is to get in and out of, uh, of her bed, especially after weight loss surgery. And I was in so much pain. It was so difficult to, to, to climb out of it. I need to do same difference as far as the rolling goes but it's been a pain because of the height it makes it really difficult um for me to get out of bed because it's high up and i gotta kind of slide off and it scares them to death because they're afraid i'm gonna fall but i'm actually more agile than you think <laughs> so and then i i just book it to the bathroom <laughs> But it's getting back in the bed that's the difficult part, you know. And it makes it difficult not only on me, but obviously on the, the person that's helping me. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, we kind of figured out uh, yesterday that if you unplug it or turn it off, it will deflate. And if it's fully deflated, I can get my legs in all by myself, no problem. Um, because my butt's lower and I'm able to, like, swing up. Um, 
And anyway, uh, so tomorrow I may, may be going home. You know, I'm really looking forward to that. It's, it's, it's about time. Uh, it'll be a week tomorrow that I've been in here. So she's been in the hospital for a week. And she doesn't exactly explain why she's been in the hospital until we get this video. And it's a Popeye's mukbang. And it's immediately as she gets home, she does a mukbang. And she orders Popeye's. And she's got a large amount of food there and two massive drinks. And it, it's just confusing to me. Like, you were in the hospital for an entire week. And again, she's going to explain why she was in the hospital here. And all the poking and prodding that they did to, to give tests and to, and to figure things out for her. And yet the first thing she does when she gets home is does a mukbang. After being in the hospital for an entire week. Let's watch it. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, today I'm having Popeye's. Um, y'all are gonna see a lot of bruises on me. A lot of, like, places where I've been poked and prodded because I just got out of the hospital today. I had a cellulitis infection in my lower abdomen. Y'all know what that means. In my big old belly. <laughs> and, well, I was in there for a whole week. And I still need to be on antibiotics probably for another 10 plus days till the 26th. And today is only the 14th of February. So. Okay, so it was early February when this happened. But I don't know. It's amazing to me that she had a cellulite infection in her, as she puts it, big old belly. Her weight caused an infection and made her spend an entire week in the hospital getting that treated. So her weight is causing her problems. And you saw the video where she was just struggling to breathe, just laying there in the hospital, struggling to breathe. She looked really out of it. And then you can see now, like she does not look like she's a picture of health. She's got bruises all over her body, all over her up, up and down her arms. Her eyes look like she is on death's door. And so what does she do immediately when she gets home? Is she does a mukbang. Yeah, so I'm going to be ooh, antibiotic up for a while. I got two drinks just because. Mm. Let's see how my sense of taste is going to be. That lemonade tasted funny. But I wanted Popeyes. Didn't want to have to cook. So here I am. <laughs> and I got two dinners. I didn't get 10 dinners. I got two dinners. Yeah, because that's really a, a show of restraint, right? You got two full dinners instead of 10 dinners. I mean, it's, I don't know. I'm really worried about Hungry Fat Chick. And this is a picture of what food addiction looks like. Of course, she uses it to her advantage by having a YouTube channel, having over 264,000 subscribers. So she's making money doing this. This is her livelihood. I get that. But she's paired up with Nikocado Avocado, and there's videos of her doing weigh-ins with Nikocado, and they're clapping and they're cheering about their weight. I mean, she's over 400 pounds at this point, and she's a very short person, so her BMI must be massive. But I don't know. I don't know what to say about her. Like, I really am worried about her. I think she's going to be the next one to go. I could be wrong. I'm not trying to make a prediction here. But just by looking at her and seeing what she's been, what she just went through, she just had a massive infection, and that was not a wake-up call for her, apparently. Because the first thing she does when she gets home is, let's do a mukbang. Let's get some Popeyes. I'm going to get myself two dinners, two large drinks full of sugar. She looks like she got an apple pie there and, and, and other stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous to me. It's very ridiculous. So, I mean, this is just a picture of what many of these mukbangers and many of the people in the fat positivity movement are like. Where there's nothing that's going to derail them from doing what they want to do. 
I mean, it's like they're addicted to the food and their addiction to food is so strong that they cannot even see the consequences that are right before them. She does not look back on her videos and say, oh, wow, I was really out, out of breath there just talking. Maybe I'm so out of shape that even talking makes me out of breath that maybe there's something wrong here. Maybe I need to get help. Oh, wait, I have a cellulitis infection in, in my abdomen. That could have killed you, Candy. That could have killed you. You could have very quickly not even made it out of that hospital. And then when you leave, the first thing you do is you go and buy some Popeyes. To me, that's just absolutely absurd. And so that's why I do this channel. And people can get mad at me. People can say I'm negative all the time. And they can hate me and make, leave negative comments if you want to. I don't care. But one thing that has not happened yet is nobody's come in and called me fat phobic. Nobody's like attacked me for that yet, which I'm sure that will come as my channel gets bigger and, and my videos get out there more. But we really need to see this. We need, really need to look at this. What people are doing to themselves for clicks and views. Nikocado Avocado is not a hero. He dragged her along with him. He's helped her get no notoriety, helped her get more views and subscribers and everything else like that. Doing the same thing, mukbanging. So not only do they go to uh, Heart Attack Grill several times together, but they do several mukbangs together. And they're absolutely disgusting to watch two fat people engorging themselves and moaning and groaning like they're having sex. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting. So this should be a picture of what it's like to be in the fat positivity movement. To gorge yourselves on food constantly and continually ignore the red flashing lights above your head that's telling you that you are in danger. Because you are in danger. You are at risk of dying very, very soon, hungry fat chick. If you do not change. If you do not stop doing this to yourself. Yeah, you might lose a bunch of subscribers if you decided to go on, on a health food kick and lose the weight and begin your redemption arc. But you would probably gain a lot more subscribers who are cheering you on and are happy for you. I can scroll through here and look at some of the comments. Yeah, some people call her out right away. She just got out of the hospital and first thing you do is a pop by his mukbang. But then another person says, she's just a beast. Anything she has become, anything she has become is through no fault of her own greed. I hope that's sarcastic. She will never change. People need to stop being surprised and saying, Candy, that trip to the hospital should have been a wake-up call. Why aren't you eating healthier? Well, this gets through your head. She does not care. She does not want to change. This way of life is easier for her in the sense that she gets to give up on herself and not attempt anything hard. She puts this out there and best believe I'm entertained. Okay, you're entertained, but you're giving her clicks and views. Well, so am I doing this video, so I'm trying not to sound like a hypocrite there. But I watch her videos when I'm getting hungry during my intermittent fasting to gross myself out of being hungry. <sighs> This is why she was upset they were keeping her in the hospital. She desperately wanted to go home and do this. That's true. I mean, yeah, she was in the hospital. She hated being there, but she needed to be there to save her life. So her doctors worked overtime. She spent how many thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, presumably of the government's money. Maybe she has her own money. I don't know. But if she's on disability or something due to her, to her size, the government paid for her to save her life for her to turn around and go home and do a Popeye's mukbang. So this is why she was angry she was in the hospital to begin with. It's because she was missing out on all the good food. She's already anticipating going again. At 2308, she says, next time I go, I'm going to take a bag. Yeah, because you're definitely going to be in the hospital again, Candy. You, you really are. So um, when I first saw this video, there was a lot of support for her, which is why I looked in the comments to begin with. But now it looks like there are people who have come on and really letting her have it, like, 
The real you is showing in this video. No appreciation for the people who tried their best to help you in the hospital. Blame yourself and not others. So, you know, apparently she's blaming the hospital in some way by saying, you guys kept me in the hospital this long. And I have all these bruises and everything else from them trying to um, take care of her. But yeah, th this comment is true right here. This has got to be rock bottom. But apparently it's not rock bottom for her. Apparently she's got to find herself even further into the basement. So yeah, this is why I am worried about Hungry Fat Chick. And if I had to say who was next to die, it would be her. I'm really sad about that. She seems like a sweet person. But she's also incredibly selfish. She doesn't care about anything else but the clicks and views that she gets from her channel. Just like Nekakato Avocado. They don't care what they're doing to people who see what, that she's making all this money doing these mukbangs and want to emulate her. I mean, it, it's, I don't know what else to say about it at this point. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this a bit. And I wanted to show you guys the heart of the fat positivity movement. And why it's so dangerous and why I will continue to fight against it. Why I'll continue to make these videos. And just point out people at their rock bottom. So that hopefully, if you're watching this and you're in the fat positivity movement, or if you're thinking about doing something, you will turn around right now and decide to go the other way. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, and I appreciate interacting with you guys. Whether you agree with me or not, I want to hear what you have to say. So leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I hope you have a great weekend. God bless you.